Hi friends, welcome back to my kitchen. Let's make some chicken and dumplings. This recipe is so easy. I think it sounds more intimidating than what people think and therefore maybe are not inclined to attempt this. But this is an old recipe from my dad, actually from my grandmother, and has been passed down and we have been making it forever. I'm starting out with chicken thighs, but you can use whatever kind of chicken you like. This is my very favorite kind of chicken to make any kind of soup with. Really, I just, when it comes to any kind of chicken dish, if at all possible, I do love to use thighs or boneless, skinless thighs as well. This part is just so simple. I'm just going to tie this up so I can fish this out later. And everything that goes in here, I am going to run it through a strainer anyway. So even if there's bits and pieces of stuff, that's okay. In it goes. Next up, I'm just gonna throw in a bunch of celery. A couple of onions, skin and all. I'm just going to cut them in half. I am not going to add any salt to this because a little bit later in this process, I am going to go in with my ever-loving favorite bouillon powder. I am going to add a bunch of pepper. And for this, I do wanna use, I'll use both, but just for the start of this, I am going to use my fresh cracked pepper and quite a bit of it. Some water. And onto the stove we go with this. I am just going to bring this up to a boil. After it comes up to a boil, I will turn the heat down, put it on a lower, smaller burner, and I will cover it and let it go for a few hours, just slow and slow to create a beautiful broth. And then I'll show you what we do after that. Okay, it is boiling. Okay, I don't know if you can hear me, I still have this on. Okay, I turned it down a little bit. And sorry about the appearance, I was out walking my dog and I'm all sweaty. I just wanna give the broth a taste test to see if it needs anything. I'm sure it needs some kind of adjustment. Yeah, it just needs a little bit more, I, you know, you have to be careful with the bouillon powder. You know, you just don't want to add too much. So I just add kind of a little bit at a time. But it does need a little bit more. I am going to add not quite a tablespoon. 
and then give it another try. Okay, taste test number two. Let's see how this is. Mm. That's perfect. Just right. We're there. Let's continue. Alexa, set the timer for eight minutes. Thanks friends for hanging out with me in my kitchen today. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I put out a video every other day. Thanks for watching. Can't wait to see you next time. Bye friends.